Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to start on the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Buffer. Zombie. Uh, so, the reason why I say zombie is because his plate, which he transforms with, with his piece, is uh, the zombie plate. So yeah. I really, really like Kamen Rider Buffer. Great character design. Also, purple zombies. Purple riders are in, man. I'm here for it. So, what's really crazy about this is that with Buffer we have the more so the one-handed design. The uniqueness of articulated fingers here for our left hand and then it still follows in the gates design of the modular popping and swapping for certain parts so there is a lot to go over especially if you collected the first two figures in the line buffer makes the third now so let's get into it let's talk about it like i said i really love this metallic purple i love the the whole water buffalo design i love the lashes i wish they were a little bit softer but they still get the job done we have our big huge shoulders and sorry i have the ac on it's extremely uh warm outside therefore making it warm in here so i need the ac on so you'll hear that in the background but yeah buffer design is i really really like it it's one of those things where as you line it up just standing there and posing in certain form i mean poses <laughs> in certain angles i should say it looks really really good but as you can see they all have that modular body design with the lower half it's pretty much the same as the entry base form but our upper half is very unique. So, articulation wise, let's talk about it. We still get a nice bit of articulation and we're still able to actually look somewhat decently up with buffer, which is pretty cool. We can still tilt to the sides, as you can see here. We have that tuck down in the chest area, which is really nice for those imposing shots. Our shoulders can move downward on our arms. We have the pull out on the arms and we can technically lift up, but we can't hit a proper T-pose, but we can hit uh, it's pretty nice, but it's not the proper T-pose. We do have a bicep swivel, and we are double jointed, but because of our gauntlet design, it's going to get in the way on your left arm, and same on the right arm, which is a bit of a shame, considering that it should have been able to go deeper. And that's because this part right here on the gauntlet, oops, sorry, no focus there. I got a little too into it. <laughs> this part right here on the gauntlet, it's going to be in the way. So, as you can see here, you're only going to get that right, the name degrees, that basic right angle, which sucks. But in, but in terms of camaraderie, they give you enough to go with on a bunch of it that you will still have enough room. You do get this nice clear orange part here, which is beautiful. But one of the things I enjoyed that they did really, really well is that you actually have a beautiful uh, articulated hand because they made the fingers articulate articulate articulated sorry <laughs> so here we are and as you can see you can actually move these and pop them out don't be like me popping things out and breaking them right so you have to be careful but they are articulated which allows you to get those claw slicing hand motions get it the way you want it for the most part right this is really really beautiful now i know technically he should be able to grip with this hand so let's just test it out now right with our weapon because we have articulated hands so technically right if you press and you get a certain shot where it can hold it he can technically hold it but he can't grip it oh well for the most part wait he did grip it wow so but it won't hold for very long so don't stress yourself over that but for the most part, I really like that hand. As far as our waist goes, here we are looking beautiful in terms of the ab crunch and movement on the upper torso. Same with the lower torso. So again, certain poses, like I said, are going to look really, really good. We have our leg drop down, as you can see here. That means raising the leg up will allow for maximum movement. And as Ryan Reynolds would say, maximum effort. See, so we have a ton of ways for articulation and movement, and we look really good along the way. We have our soft goods skirt, which is soft plastic and not actually soft goods. That's why I call it the soft goods skirt because it's still soft plastic and movable. You do have generous ankle pivot, as you can see here. You do have toe hinge. We can rotate left and right, and we do have thigh swivel as well. So posing this guy up shouldn't be an issue. He should look good in most, if not all, poses. 
and we still haven't gotten into like the swap gimmick so this is where I say the figure like this is actually really strong and complements the line really well because if something like this is done well by the time you get to the gimmick it gets to be even more fun for you so with that being said I am going to get a chance to talk about accessories and the form swap gimmick so let's get to it I'll see you guys in a sec all right now real quick we're going to talk about our accessories that we get and then our form swap with the entry rays or swapping it up with like the the boost magnum so let's talk about that first off you saw it earlier here's our main weapon buffer's sword of choice the chainsaw blade we have a beautiful chainsaw blade which has its gimmick for the poison tactical break right so you can charge up your effect what's also really cool is you can actually store it on the side so you can use it as a weapon storage as well. Just like with Geats, you can actually store it to look pretty cool on the side. I like the idea of this. It's actually pretty cool. Poison charge tactical break. Right? So we got our buffer. Handing out buffer slaps. I gotta plug that hand back in. Make sure it's in there nice and good. And yeah, so there we are with that. You stay right there. Next up, we do have a set of hands, and it's only for the right hand side, whereas the buffer claw stays the same. So you will get a closed fist. You will get an open action hand. You will get uh, what I'm going to call the open uh, pose hand, sorry. And then you will get item gripping hand which does have a trigger hand which means if you want to hold the magnum or his sword you can do that for the right hand next up and this is what's really cool you will get the plates and the mouthpieces for when you have him in entry form which we're going to pose up next and in case you swap and want to do it with the buffer plate for Geats himself they give you parts for that so what we're going to do is now I'm going to take this guy, move him gently, ever so gently back. What we're going to do is we're going to take our Geats, right? Here's our entry form one, which I did not get a chance to review, and that's because just things are not working out that way. <laughs> but yes, so real quick, watch this, right? For our Geats plate, as you can see, this part came out, but watch this. If you want it for the geats plate to swap because we're going to slowly swap around all of them so we can talk about this stuff and i like that it's pretty much a universal line you just got to get the and it's hard for me to plug it in right now as i can't see but oh did i do it backwards i may have did it backwards but yeah i did it backwards but as you can see there, the plate is there. So what I'm going to do is, right, we're going to do the, I'm going to stop tripping and playing myself. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take off all the pieces for Geats. As you can see here for the entry race, took off all those parts. So first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to work my way backwards. We're going to make the entry race form for buffer which means popping out our torso like here we're going to take our lower torso with us right so that way we have our lower torso but we're going to keep the upper torso of the raised form so now we have the basic raised form and then we have our head right which means we gently remove the plate here and as you can see we remove our colored one for and sorry remove the lower plate so you put the col the non-colored one in and I'm sorry I'm trying to do this without actually like <laughs> normally I don't show this kind of stuff on camera so I'm trying to be better about that which I'm driving myself crazy over it honestly because I'm, I'm forgetting plates and parts there we go and then we follow up with our top piece and now we have a buffer in the entry raise form 
And I know it doesn't seem like much, but it's cool to be able to have those options for the gimmick. As you can see, the eyes technically don't light up because he's not fully matched in his transformation form, All right? But he can still transform as long as he have his core ID. So let's move this guy back, right? And then let's say you wanted to do this with Geats. So now we can do it with Geats. So we take the buffer top, as you can see here, we have our belts for Geats. Now we're gonna pop on our other parts. And I think I put the wrong part in, that's what happened. Is this the right piece? Yes, I think this one is. I think that's what I messed up from before. Yep, that's what it was. I messed it up from before. But as you can see, we have the purple mask parts. And let's actually pop this in. And then you have Geet's buffer form. And I like this. I like, again, this is one of those cool gimmicks that I was talking about. Now, let's say you wanted to go even further. Watch this, right? You actually pop this torso off, this bottom. And let's say you wanted to add the boost parts, which is from our Boots Geats Magnum figure. And so far you can mix and match now and make a bunch of different combinations, which for me, I really like the idea of this. Like mixing and matching, crossing it over, having a bit of fun, look at that. Which means technically if you have more than one of each figure, you can do this like and have a ton of fun mixing and matching because they've actually done that in the show as well so keep this part in mind so now what i'm going to do off camera i'm going to put these guys back to normal so we can use them in our size comparison so i'll see you guys in a little bit it'll be half a second for you and probably five minutes for me <laughs> all right now we're going to jump into the size comparisons as you saw with the swapping of bodies and things like that i'm obviously going to compare first to geats himself so i'm going to do both the boost magnum and the entry raise form so you can see what you're getting into as you kind of compare up all the bodies right so this is boost magnum and here is our entry raise form so you can kind of see what you're getting into across the board with these guys and it's pretty cool i like that you can the idea of part swapping these guys to like be able to have fun i think that is a really rich and fun as helen idea especially because it allows you to if you want your favorite version or you want to mix and match i think the only downside to this part is that if we don't get more swappable bottom parts it's not going to be as fun but i'm hoping we do get more and more of that i really do so let's take these guys away and then next up we will compare to some of the previous season's heroes so here we are with revy who you guys will call revive but i say revy on purpose because that's what's fun for me, right? So as you can see here, he's looking pretty good, standing next to Buffer. Then we have Kamen Rider Saber, or Sabaro, depending on who you're talking to. <laughs> Let's have some fun. So yeah, as you can see, he's up there with what we call the upscaled new SHF Rider stuff, whereas, uh, crap, I don't have a Zero One around, but yes. So starting after Zero One, they kind of upscaled these guys to be a little bit taller than our normal SHF. And a good example of that uh, will be when I find Zero One. I'm going to try to add them into the photos. But older SHF are actually a lot smaller than the newer types over the last three or four years. So let's remove these guys. Next up, for fun, I thought it would be great to add SHF Captain Marvelous, the new uh, Shinko Cho Seho. And as you can see, he's even just a tad bit smaller than Buffa, but he looks pretty good. And I also thought it would be cool to throw in a lightning collection. So we can see what a lightning collection like is next to the new SHF. And this is what I was talking about. Smaller SHF uh, will end up being a little bit smaller. Whereas the new SHF actually scales out a little bit better with a lot of the new lightning collection, which I thought was pretty cool. So if we take these guys away and we compare to other lightning collection, I thought these guys would make for good bad guys and villains. Here's Mesogog and a Putrid. And I think these guys will scale out pretty well. Next up, when we compare it to other lines, here we are with G.I. Joe Torpedo. 
and I think Torpedo is actually standing on like the the smaller body scale wise. So as you can see, it's SHF is still smaller than most domesticated lines. Here we are with Valiverse six inch figures. So as you can see, SHF is still at the under six inch line, but it's getting there. Then here we are with Mezco Ichigo. He's on a Gomez body. He stands supremely tall, right? And then last but not least, we can compare to a Mythic Legion. And I have the Monkey King, which actually just came in a couple days ago. I opened him up today. Very happy with this guy. But here we are with Monkey King. And as you can see with Legions, he tends to be a little bit on the smaller end. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate everything. Uh, thanks for sticking around. As I know I can't do as many common red reviews as I would like. It's a lot of parts and sometimes it does get very com time consuming. But I'm still here because I want it out of beat out of love and not out of rushing. So even though it feels like that anyway. But I'm hoping to change that. And with feelings of changing it, I'm hoping it sticks out to be that. But in the meantime guys, thank you so much. And as always, please, be good, do good. Drink your water guys. Later.